Brent here from American English with this guy with another lesson to help you improve your English. Today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about some news that is happening in the United States. So one thing that's being talked about is something called vaccine passports. And I'm sure if you're studying English, you probably are thinking about traveling so you probably know what passports are. It's just some documentation, like some legal papers, a legal document that proves you can travel from one country to the other. You probably also know what a vaccine is. And a vaccine is usually a, a shot that you get in your arm and it keeps you protected from a virus or some disease. Well, some states in the United States are thinking about requiring citizens to have a vaccine passport if they want to travel or if they want to attend a theater or a stadium. But some people think that that is going a little too far. Now, if you are a Republican in the United States, you are probably against vaccine passports. Republicans are usually in favor of giving people more choice. They're usually in favor of the government staying out of people's business. Democrats would be more in favor of trying to keep everybody safe. They're more in favor of having rules to keep people safe, whereas Republicans would rather let each person decide how they feel for themselves. One state, big state in the United States, is New York, and they have a Democratic governor. More people in that state are Democrats, and they are in favor of having these vaccine passports. So if you wanna go see a Yankees game, you might have to prove that you have had your vaccine. If you can't prove that with a vaccine passport, you may not be allowed to go to that game. New York City is famous for its Broadway plays. It is quite possible if you want to go see a play on Broadway, you will have to be able to prove that you've been vaccinated. I didn't realize it was gonna be so windy out here. Another state you may have heard of is Florida. And they are mostly Republican. Their governor is Republican. And he said, we're not doing that in Florida. In fact, the governor has prohibited vaccine passports. When you prohibit something, that means you don't allow it. There is one restaurant in Florida that wanted to have vaccine passports. They wanted to make sure their restaurant was safe the only way you could eat at that restaurant would be to show a vaccine passport. The governor said, no. Our president, Joe Biden, has come out against vaccine passports. He doesn't believe in them. It's a pretty controversial topic. When something is controversial, that means not everyone agrees on it. I've been vaccinated. Maybe you know that from the channel. My wife was vaccinated yesterday. We had to get two shots. Her last shot was yesterday. But while she was waiting to get her shot, another person who had just received their shot had an allergic reaction. Her lips became puffy. She had to sit down. She almost fainted. There are a lot of people who say it's more of a risk to get vaccinated than to actually get the virus. Hey, if you are learning any English from this lesson, do you mind hitting that like button? And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, please. So how do you feel? Do you feel like everyone should show their vaccine passport if they want to go to a baseball game or if they want to go out to eat? I'd love to know how you feel. If you don't mind, leave a comment telling us exactly how you feel. Again, there's no right answer. There are a lot of people who feel that they are for vaccine passports and there are a lot of people who feel they are against 
vaccine passports. If you think this type of conversation helps you with your English, check out another video I have where I speak English for almost 20 minutes straight. Thanks so much for watching.